You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. Hello, this is Mike Lodge with the WBT. I just thought, you know, I was, I'm, I live here in South Carolina, so I was out in my yard on my tractor and something about ethics was just running through my mind because of everything that we've seen and heard so I thought I'd better come in and do this podcast or this vlogcast but something has really been bothering me because if you look at what has happened in Hollywood in the ethics of Hollywood you really see that this line of business is really a tough business to really be ethical in you have people who are protecting people because they're so afraid of the power of that individual. Harvey Weinstein had a huge amount of power. And he was enabled to use that power because no one cared what he was doing as long as they provided them with work and with projects to work on. And made a huge amount of money off of what he produced. Weinstein Company did very well at producing movies and entertainment venues. <clears throat> the problem is, is that the ethics of these individuals who covered this man's sexual deviancy is even worse to think about because they were willing to bend the rules. They were willing to allow other people to get hurt. And sometimes they were even willing to allow themselves to get hurt just so that they could go forward in their career. To me that is probably the most ugliest and dirtiest type of ethics that you will ever see. And then you have these same people going out and saying women's rights, the right of the woman, and etc. etc. And in the same time they were protecting an individual who was sexually harassing women. And it happens in the gay community too where guys are harassed also. It is a very dirty situation that Hollywood has made itself see. Instead of producing movies, they want to get involved in politics, but in the same time, they are doing the very evil that they preach about. So we have a really bad problem of really taking these people seriously anymore because they prevailed at protecting a sexual deviant. And there are a lot of sexual deviants in that industry. And it's a sad thing to see because the creative force that they put together in creating film, in music, and all the other entertainment venues that are there are outstanding. But their ethics are not outstanding. They are the lowest of the low. And then you have to look at NBC. NBC, a major corporation traded on the stock exchange, began to do deviant things too because they protected Harvey Weinstein. I mean, to me, if I was the board of directors and seeing this happen from the top down, I would do something about it. If I was the chairman of the board, I would go in and I would immediately begin to clean house because something is wrong within NBC. Something is wrong within NBC. When you have individuals who will not run stories about a sexual deviant when there is a problem within Hollywood, there is a problem and they hide it and they protect. So I call out today to the board of directors of NBC, start cleaning house because it does not look good. From the top down, it does not look good. Clean house as soon as possible because right now, whatever you do in your news, whatever you do in your business, you are not looked on very well because you, we, we can no longer trust you. Trust in any business. Because we need to trust in businesses that are ethically sound, not who are morally bankrupt. So it's a tough thing to see and, and it's 
it's, it's bad. It's really, really bad. We have got to change America. We've got to be able, every company should be teaching its employees about the ethics. The ethics of everything about business. They need to be taught about how to treat people in the workplace. How to treat people fairly. How to create contracts that are not un, that are not unethical. The contract that was with Harvey Weinstein, with the Weinstein Company, was unethical. Writing in language about what he can and cannot do sexually. That is worthless. So the ethics of business has got to be looked at very carefully because we are in a day that we can no longer trust anybody who displays this type of unethical behavior. So I call upon NBC, from the top down, begin to clean house, because it's a dirty house. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. I'll talk with you soon. Thank you. Say